Hello friends, I am back again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, how do you create your own custom run shortcut in order to open different application and files that you have in your Windows PC. So you can create a shortcut custom shortcut for the run of your own you can see it's a run dialog box where you're gonna enter the shortcut and you can open the file open the application in an easy way so it's very simple and easy so I'll guide you step by step it's very simple and like we do just we just press Windows and R Windows key plus R key together in a keyboard and here we have a run so we just type some of the shortcut over here and then once you type the shortcut and click on OK it opens what we need it opens different files it opens different folder and it will even open different application so you can create a custom of your own for the easy access uh, whenever you want to access those files application you just press Windows and R to open the run and then you just type the shortcut and press enter and you can start working on those things you can start working on those folders you can start working on those application and you can start working on those files so let's begin from the start it's a step by step guide so the first step you can see is this PC or somewhere you know if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8 you're gonna see my computer so click on it and then here you have a C drive get inside C drive at first let me show you how do you create a run shortcut for the application let's say you have installed some application into your computer now you have a application inside application you can see all the different application that you have installed in your computer here I have an internet explorer you can see it's IE Explorer there are several other applications that I have installed in my computer here is the Internet Explorer you can see is the IE Explorer is an application so when you click on IE Explorer it opens Internet Explorer now just keep on right click on it let's say I want to create a shortcut for this and then you're gonna click on create shortcut it can ask you for the permission click on yes you can see you have successfully created a shortcut you can see on the desktop somewhere the shortcut sometimes the shortcut appears in the same folder sometime you're gonna see the shortcut in a desktop here I have a shortcut over here in a desktop now the next thing that you would like to do sorry guys the next thing that you have to do here's the I explorer shortcut now you're just gonna copy it because this is a shortcut we want the wrong shortcut not the shortcut we want the wrong shortcut so just copy it and go back go back okay let me close it let me open the this PC again inside C drive I'll get inside Windows folder this time here. I have a Windows folder Inside Windows folder. I'll just copy it And then I'll paste it somewhere So let me just paste it somewhere It's gonna ask you for the permission click on continue and you can see here's the shortcut it's a very long name so I'll just decrease let's say I want to give the name as IE when I type IE on a run it should open the Internet Explorer click enter it's gonna ask you for the permission click on continue and then again click on yes if it asks you for the permission now you can see here's the IE what are you gonna do next you gonna press Windows and R and this opens the RON dialog box in RON dialog box now you're gonna type IE IE and then press OK 
just enter it and you can see it opens the Internet Explorer successfully so guys in this way you can just uh, create a shortcut for the application run shortcut for the application it's very simple and easy not for the Internet Explorer only whatever application that you install in your computer all the application you'll find in my computer or this PC in an application folder here's the program files and program files 86 so inside program files and sometime if you have 86 version it's a program file x86 these are the different program files folder where you're gonna find all the list of application that you have installed just get inside and choose the application you would like to create a shortcut and you can create shortcut round shortcut for any application you want and then it's very simple and easy next time you want to launch the application Windows R IE and press enter key and here you have Internet Explorer now the next thing that I would like to guide you how do you create a shortcut for your file run shortcut not only shortcut it's a run shortcut for your files you can see here's the shortcut I've given one name this is a word file it's a text file how do you create a run shortcut for the text file not only text file whatever file you are using in your computer whatever file you have just give a right click on it and then you can just delete it now from your desktop it is not needed just give a right click on it and click on create shortcut now you have created a shortcut you have to do the same thing for those files copy it open this PC inside Windows you just have to paste it click on continue and you have pasted a shortcut it's a very long name next time I want to open it with the name assets it's very simple and easy for me to remember press enter click on continue if it asks you for the permission click on yes now here's the assets now let me close it now next time I'll delete it I don't need it now now next time I'll open this file through run press Windows R it will open the run dialog box type assets and click on OK you can see it has opened the file now let me type something let me make some changes this has been created let me save it and let me close it now I press the Windows R and again I type the assets and then click on OK you can see all the changes have been made let's say I'm deleting the original file from somewhere I have created a shortcut and now I'm deleting the original file now I press Windows R and type assets and click on OK you can see there's no files do you want to delete the shortcut if you want to delete the shortcut you can delete the shortcut your file is safe so every time you don't have to go to the Windows directory again and you have to delete the shortcut if you have deleted the original file shortcut will no longer open that file so this is the way how you can create a shortcut it's a wrong shortcut your custom shortcut for the different application and you can access your PC in the way you like in the easiest way in the fastest way so be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment if you like this video and I'll catch you in the next video with another update have a good day